BBC One did a documentary on dolphins, and they found out that dolphins like to get high, just like people in the United States <laughs> and in much of the world. Now, uh, what they discovered while filming for this documentary, and they did 900 hours of dolphin footage, by the way, they found out that dolphins like to chew on puffer fish to get high, and they chew on it just the right amount, and then they pass it on to other dolphins so they can get high as well. Now, as you guys know, puffer fish have a toxin that can be lethal if you consume too much of it. So somehow the dolphins managed to find the right amount to like feel good and then they pass it on to their dolphin friends. This is incredible stuff and it just kind of shows you how unbelievably intelligent, you know, other mammals are. You know, we think we're so smart as humans, but Everybody, I don't, I don't understand. Everybody's like reading this, this news and then saying, well, wow, look how smart dolphins are. Isn't that awesome? What about the puffer fish? It's getting chewed on by fucking dolphins. <laughs> Why didn't they make it? I guess they're not smart enough. Like, yeah. Maybe they well, should have had a TV awesome show. Awesome toxin. That yeah. Yeah. Those dolphins <laughs> can't get. They look a little high in that picture. <laughs> little half smile. So dolphins are mammals, correct? Yep. Yes. Oh, there you go. So that's a difference. Puffers. They're just a stupid fish. Yeah. These <laughs> are. We're we're related to dolphins, right? Yeah. Well, we're related to pufferfish too, but, but, but more farther, related to dolphins. Farther exactly. Away. We're related to pufferfish like we're related to the Bananas. Duck Dynasty people. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, I saw the exactly. banana thing today too. Yeah. yeah so, uh, <laughs> first of all, who's the guy that has to go through the 900 hours of dolphin footage? She's like, oh, he's swimming now. Wonderful. Should I save that or no? Not save that. I'll get rid of that. Um, but yeah. So if you ever if you ever want to get really freaked out. Just read in depth about dolphins, about uh, chimpanzees, about pigs, about some of the ways that they're emotionally and just how intelligent they are and the way that we treat them. Mm. Mm. Yeah. I mean, I'm not saying Thanks you have to go dating, vegan like or anything, but. <laughs> no, but like, we, we treat them horribly. We treat no, chimpanzees right. horribly. You're like, absolutely right. I mean, these, there definitely are, you know. I worked as a scientist for many years. I am an advocate of animal research, and I've, I've been really outspoken about the fact that I'm an advocate of animal research. I think that everybody has a line they draw in the sand. Some people who are against animal research as a whole draw the line at all animals. Mm -hmm. But many people wouldn't argue that you shouldn't do Drosophila research, right? What's fruit, that? Fruit flies. Like, oh, okay. why not? Or like zebra fish, or people will, there are all these model organisms what that people do research on. What about bunnies when they put soap well, in their eyes? Or bunnies, or, I mean, that, that sounds really horrible <laughs> is to Is that okay? But like that's not medical research, right? Scientists. You're talking about like cosmetic research, which I'm against. Yeah. Oh. But medical research, sure. So, so for me, I draw my line in the sand, be, be right underneath these kind of higher order mammals like dolphins, elephants, and great apes. I, I do start to get much more squeamish when we talk about doing medical research on these kinds of organisms, and mostly it's because of this higher order thinking that they have. I do caution us as a whole, as a society, to, to, to prevent ourselves from anthropomorphizing these organisms too much and saying, oh, just like people, they do this, just like people, they do that. I'd be interested to see as the research continues on this behavior. It was discovered by film crew, mm. right? So I'm not really sure how scientific <laughs> this film crew. Granted, they probably have zoologists and people on on, on board with them, but it, it will be interesting to see more and more. Um, I think Elvis. researchers Apparently study this. Apparently, what they did after they chew, because uh, okay, so they chew on the puffer fish. What does that mean? Like, yeah. how do they act high? Apparently, they would swim up to the surface, like just but just before they hit the surface, uh, they would just stare at their own reflections. <laughs> <laughs> For a really long time, which I've I think is super cute and hilarious. <laughs> That's really yeah, funny. and they, I think dolphins do pass the mirror test. I might like recognize themselves. Yeah, yeah. like I've if heard you that they have names that they call each other and remember. That's pretty crazy. But like very few organisms actually pass the mirror test, where they'll put a mark, you know, on on like an, a chimp's head or something, and then they show him a mirror, and if he goes to wipe it off, like he's confused by it, that means he recognizes himself. Yeah. He sees that something's different. He knows the difference between himself and another organism in the mirror. Yeah, and I think we've dolphins seen from pass the mirror studies into primates, their ability to, to conceive of themselves as beings ex existing over time, that they remember traditions, like uh, like if you do Christmas stuff, the next year around Christmas time, they start to like anticipate it what? and stuff dolphins like that. Dolphins also rape. Not dolphins. So that's a thing. Yeah. Dolphins they, rape. Oh, yes, wow. I know that. Yeah, they're raping yeah. the puffer they're fish in that video. Me. I know that. Yeah. <laughs> Good to know. But so to, f f and but you were talking about the, how they they talk to each other. They and uh, yeah, Brian they, they Regan can, can oh. talks about how the guy deciphered what whales were saying. You know, <laughs> so for hours and hours he listened, and then he was like, "This is what the do this is what the whales are saying." And then it turned out the door behind him was squeaking, <laughs> and so it was all kind of mixed up. That's what Brian Regan says. 
<laughs> now, Karen, do, do dogs, when they look in the mirror, do they? Do no, they don't pass the mirror test. No. <laughs> no. Some, dogs, some dogs don't even see anything when they look in the mirror, like if you notice they're disinterested, and yeah. some dogs will my bark like at their that. own reflection because they think it's another animal. Oh, okay. But they definitely don't recognize themselves. Yeah, my dog is I take my dog and I put her up to the mirror and she'll, she'll do this. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. I'll be like, look at yourself! <laughs> <laughs> look at how cute you are! <laughs> <laughs> anyway, 